Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Today in this video, I just want to be going over everything that's coming in the last update of the season. Of season 1, of course. Chapter 5, season 1. And it's a big one. It's going to be a lot of uh, new leaks. A lot of new stuff is coming. And it's going to be an amazing update. And I will be live for it. So it is. So just uh, for anybody wondering when it's coming. It is coming February 22nd. It was delayed because of they had some problems or something like that, getting it out. I don't know why, but they didn't really say why, but it is coming February 22nd. But let's dive a little bit deeper into this. Going into it, Taylor Swift is coming to Fortnite. If you guys do not know, it will be replaced in the weekend, so maybe we, that, uh, you know, Taylor Swift can take over the item shop now instead of uh, weekend. Uh, so can't wait to see her in the item shop that I will never buy unless I get gifted it. Um, also some other stuff we're going to be getting here is some, it's going to be like the season two build up. If you do not know the season two build up is the chapter five season two is going to be containing of Greek mythology, which I'm going to try to have it pulled up on the screen for you guys. If I can find it, cause I was trying to look for it before I started recording and it's just hard to find. There are some skins that are already ready to go that have already been done pretty much. They're just in the files chilling until release time. Some other things I want to go over here is the upcoming Lego events. So they teased a little picture, which I will also have it up for you guys. Um, it is them fishing. So they're teasing fishing coming to Fortnite. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool that they're actually doing that. And as far as that goes, there's a lot of new Lego stuff and a lot of rumors around the Lego community because Lego Fortnite has died a lot. Um, just due to the fact of non-updates and stuff like that and nobody's, it's not nobody's fault, but Epic's. But, uh, hey, we're here for the ride. Um, and we're maybe looking at another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle skin, which uh, it's just in the files and people are trying to find the, like a representation of it, but they can't. Um, new cosmetics are definitely coming, and I want to talk about another thing. Rope climbing will be available whenever they decide to turn it on. It's already in the files, and they just got to turn it on whenever they feel like it, more or less. It's, uh, ready to go, and they just haven't posted anything about it or said anything about it. So, some other things coming is some added shop tabs. Which I, I'm not even going to try to pronounce them all. There's so many that I can't even keep up. There's literally so many. Um, it's like a whole list of things that are coming. No cool skins in my opinion. My opinion. Um, I'll, give, I'll throw some popular ones out there. Across the Spider-Verse. Attack on Titan. Dragon Ball. DC. Eminem's coming back. Uh, Jack Skellington's still in there. The Invincibles. Um, My Hero Academia, Mr. Beast, the Lamborghini will return at some point, Kid Leroy, Teenage Ninja Turtles are in the item shop right now, Stranger Things, Star Wars, and Rick and Morty, and it looks like the Tron stuff is making a return. Some other things to go over here is some leaked skins that are coming, right? Uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake is supposed to be, these are all because, if you don't know, Disney and them. Uh, made like a $1.5 billion contract or something like that. I don't, don't, don't come at me. I don't know, but don't know too much about it. I heard about it. Avatar, Mag, uh, Magneto, Cyclops, Colossus, Robin, Peacemaker, Dr. Ott from Spider-Man, Devil May Cry, He-Man, Skeletor, One Piece, F Fantastic Four, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Those are some of the leaks that according to this this guy named Nick on Twitter, he has leaked several things like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and stuff like that, and he's never been wrong about them coming. So, hey, we might see all these. It'd be pretty cool. We didn't have Robin before. I know that. And Final Fantasy VII, I know I'm a fan of it and myself, so can't wait to see that in game myself. So some more leaks um, to go over here. And more about the Fortnite Festival if you really care about it. I don't. Uh, but Fortnite Festival Season 2 is expected to launch on Thursday, February 22nd, meaning uh, Thursday, February 22nd, sorry. Um, this means weekend will go bye-bye, so if you didn't get weekend, try to get them as soon as you can. 
and and a couple more things I want to go over before the, obviously the uh, video ends here is I want to be talking about the stuff potentially coming and the Greek mythology theme of next season. So if you guys do not know, uh, as I was st stating earlier, that obviously Disney invested in $1.5 billion, meaning that they own 10% of Epic Games. Um, so that's pretty cool. And obviously if you saw the trailer, I'm not going to have it up on screen or anything because I don't know if it's got copyright issues with Twitter or anything. But it seems like whenever we were watching the trailer, you could see Toy Story. You could see Frozen, Mickey Mouse. Uh, there were some other ones that I think I saw in there. It was pretty cool. Lightning McQueen, for instance. He's already in Rocket. Rocket Ra uh, Rocket Rocket League, sorry, and so that means who knows what's to come of the future, but as of right now, we don't know, and it would be super cool to see something cool in the near future with the new stuff coming out. Personally, I think the Toy Story collab would be pretty cool. Frozen would be pretty cool. Mickey Mouse would be pretty dope, because it's Mickey Mouse. Who doesn't like Mickey Mouse? Um... It's a very interesting topic, and it's just like kind of like it's all of a sudden type thing. And Disney and Fortnite working together is kind of crazy, or Epic Games. So that means they're most likely going to be coming to Fall Guys, Rocket League, and Fortnite, or any other games that Epic Games might own. Those are the, just the top three I know. Um, and more about the Greek mythology theme. I'm a little bit skeptical on it. There was somebody that drew up a concept of it. I'm not going to throw it up on screen or anything. It was kind of cool. And my thing about it is how will it be? How will it work? How, what do they have in plan to keep people around? Because everybody knows the last Greek mythology thing we did with the arena and stuff like that. It didn't go well for me because I'm a personal player that did not play Chapter 3. I did not play Chapter 3 at all. I regret it, but can't go back now. It's kind of too late. But it's one of those things like you got to be a little bit skeptical because like how do we know what's to come of the future? What I mean by that is... What is to come out of the Greek mythology? They better make it really spicy because there were some skins that I saw that were really nice and stuff like that. So, And the last thing I want to go over was the most exciting news of all. If you guys do not know, Fortnite has been working on Fortnite OG again because they had so many people that loved it. And I think I said it a while ago which was back when I had like 100 subscribers or something like that. It was how I said, what if they went and re-brought the, like, say they started at Season 2 or something, because that's whenever content actually started coming in for the game, and uh, they work it up to Season 2, Season 3. Like, every week or two, we move to another season. Or, yeah, every week, like they were doing with the Fortnite OG the whole time. And what if they did that the whole process, and then they just blew the map up, re re keep restarting it, and the only thing is, nobody knows if it's going to be a permanent game mode. I really hope it is, because it would suck if it wasn't, because honestly, sometimes I just want to go back on their old map, instead of like going on Project Nova, for instance, and having to redo all that stuff just for five, ten people to be queued up in a match, and it's stupid. I should have to be able to get on, a, like, Fortnite itself, load up Epic, and be able to play on anything that I want to. But a little bit of a summary here. Fortnite OG coming, coming back is super hyped. I'm super excited to see that myself. We have huge collabs coming, so let me know your opinions and thoughts. And then the shop tabs have been updated, which I will have those on screen. Obviously, I'll put the tweet on sh screen for you guys, right? And then the Taylor Swift stuff, and then the fishing for LEGO. It's going to be super hype, super fun. Um, I'm super excited about the Greek mythology kind of theme to it. I just hope they don't mess it up. That's the only thing about it. If they don't mess it up, we'll be good, great, grandy. But, um... Yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions. And Guys, I also forgot to mention that we will be going live February 22nd for 24 hours. Not February 22nd. February 21st to the 22nd. Not for 24 hours, but about 12 hours for say. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe, man. Turn the notice on. It helps me out and helps me continue to do what I'm doing. And if you also buy anything in the item shop, be sure to use uh, code Frazzle. It helps me out so much, guys. But as always, stay awesome. Stay, take care and just be wonderful as a person. Take care, guys.